Hi everyone, my name is Carrie with Tiger Lily Designs. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing video. I just got an Amazon delivery moments ago, brought it down to my studio, and I decided that I wanted to unbox it and open it with you guys. As you can see, it's a huge giant box with the Amazon swoosh. Let's see what's inside. Don't worry, these are not my fabric scissors. I have lots of scissors, tape scissors, paper scissors, fabric scissors. Purple means tape. It's a box inside the box. Can you see? Juki. Okay, I flipped the box on its side, so now I can slide out what's inside. Unfortunately, my first view doesn't give me the warm and fuzzies. Do you see this broken box and tape? And it's all kind of janky. All right, I'm going to pause the video again. Sorry, I want to take some pictures before I go any further, just in case I have to have an issue with Amazon. Okay, we're back. I took some photos before we went any further, just because I don't know what's going to be inside. It's definitely an open box situation from Amazon. I'm not loving that. I'm kind of half tempted to stop now, but I'm not going to. All right, this cobobulated box. This is the knee lever. All right, the instruction manual looks to have the original tape on it. In case you didn't know what we're look, the description of the video told you what we we're doing, but it's the TL2010Q. All right, let's keep going. Inspection certificate. Power cord. Bag of accoutrement. We'll come back to that. tape so that's a good sign this should be the table and it is super sturdy Has legs that pop up with adjustable feet. Six legs. Kind of cool. Little clippy things. I'm sure it'll make more sense when we get to the machine. Oh, goodness. All right, let's see. How am I going to do this? Let's see if I can get this guy on his side again. I got no guesses what this is. A mat? I've never seen one of these. Let's see. It's like plastic, vinyl, the... Interesting. It's the cover. Well, we have to make a pretty one of those interesting but not needed foot paddle foot controller I know that this button does something it's got the juki label on it got the wraparound cord very cool all right let's get to the good stuff shall we 
<laughs> Sorry for the shaking of the camera. All right. Opening it up, sandwiched between two styrofoam pieces. And here she is. Let me switch camera angles. I'll be right back. Different view of the studio. <laughs> Ignore all the stuff in the back. One day I'll do a studio room tour and you can see all the goodness that happens rather than just the fabric wall. But um, let's keep going with that unboxing. So I've got this on my design cutting table. My design cutting table is 72 inches long by 48 inches wide. It's basically four cutting mats on top of, a, I'll show you one day. Anyway, back to this. All right, I don't believe I can see any issues. It is a nice, heavy duty, like no joke. You know, I've read not plastic, but this is plastic, but it's, it's not cheapy plastic. Bubble thing. Very cool. Comes with a walking foot. Hmm. I'll have to research what that foot is. This is a free motion quilting foot. I won't use that one very much because I've got a long arm, but it's nice to have for smaller pieces that the long arm just doesn't make sense. Flathead screwdriver, interesting. Couple extra, four bobbins. Packaging needles, organ needles. I've read that that's the only thing it can use. Why? I don't know. What makes them special? Anybody know what makes organ needles special? I'm guessing this is oil. The top has come off, so that's a mess. Um, yeah, and I can smell it. Hmm, smells like oil. And then I have no idea what this little contraption is. All right. Well, we're going to move this beauty over to where her new home is going to be over there. Kind of right underneath that quilt block on the wall. Um, I rearranged my studio today to make room for her. So let's go ahead and bring her over there, get her plugged in and see. Okay, what she's everybody, doing. I've got her in her spot where she's going to be. You didn't miss much. All I did was carry her over from the design table to put her on the table. I put the table stand here. Doesn't really lock into place that I can see. Um, it kind of just slides in and stays, unless I'm missing something. Um, it's got this handy dandy opening here, so that way you can access the bobbin. It's a side bobbin. Um, I had read that but it's a side bobbin access panel. And then I put in the knee lever. I attached, unwrapped the foot cord, foot pedal, plugged her in. Haven't turned her on yet. Let's see what she does. Um, and the power lights up. Kind of a wimpy light, not gonna lie. Um, I have read a lot of people that put LED strip lights um, right here in the throat. Uh, I probably will be doing that. Foot up, needle up. Take off this silica gel 
fanciness. Got a telescoping thread so you could use cones. All right, let's see. Well, there's a bobbin inside. It's, yeah. ooh, woo! That is some oily stuff. My hands are covered in oil right now. Um, yeah, it is super lubricated from the factory. All right, I'm gonna read the book, see if I can figure out how to um, wind a bobbin. I'll be back. We're bobbin winding. It wasn't that tricky. Thread on, you put this fancy, and we're done. You put this fancy thread stopper thing so that the spool of thread doesn't go throwing up in the air because it goes so fast, down the, shank around the doodah and the bobbin winder goes right here you engage that push the pedal and it stops automatically when it's done pop off i don't see any thread cutter over here so that's interesting now i've got a bobbin you know what we're going to take it for a test drive now i should have grabbed some scrap mm, maybe i will but I've got some Tula Pink stars. This is a Tula Pink Monkey Wrench star um, that I was working on. And I've got some nine patches that are gonna offset it. So let's go ahead and let, yep. I am not a pinner, people. I, I shouldn't say that. I don't pin often. I am a knee lever girl though. All right, we got fast. Let's see how fast she really goes. Wow! I mean, you just don't know how fast fast is until you've got it on your table. I'm gonna do another one. As my mom would say, don't run your fingers over. I can tell you that I have run my fingers over. Put a needle right through my fingernail. Don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend. Okay. But those are some beautiful, they're a little tighter than I probably liked. I might take it down a notch. Let's go ahead. Oh, that's an interesting little dial. Um, bump up the stitch width. Uh, stitch length. We're about two and a half now. That might be a little too long. But wow is all I can say about the speed on this. All right, let's see. Oh, much better. Stitch length is great. And I think now we've worked out the oil that was in the machine from Transit because it's nice white thread. The tension is great on both. Okay, everybody, I think that's it. That's my unboxing for today. I just wanted to show you what I had coming into the studio. I was super excited about it. Um, let me talk to you about why I got this. Um, you know, if, if you're new to my channel, obviously it's a new channel, but I do just want to tell you a little bit about myself and, and what my evolution of machines have been. I've been sewing for about uh, 18 years right now. And I know this because my son's 18. Um, I got my first sewing machine. It was a Husqvarna Viking I got at the store that was inside the Joann's back 20 years ago. Um, it was a basic sew stitch, you know, $500 machine. It, it got the job done. It did not have the bells and whistles that I was looking for. Over the years, I upgraded to a couple different Husqvarna's. Um, and, and then uh, two years ago, I upgraded to a Bernina. Um, I've got a Bernina 790, you can see right there. It's the embroidery mod module. Again, that was two years ago. 
It is the Mercedes of machines. I will tell you that it does everything and then some, but I'll be honest. Um, it's in the shop a little more than I like it. You know, uh, for someone that's quilting and, and what I do for my business, I am sewing straight lines 95% of the time and I don't need the bells and whistles that the Bernita had. And, um, you know, about two weeks ago, that one broke again. A piece broke off the daggone thing and it was just in the shop four months ago. Now, I work my, my machines. They are, it is no joke. You got to hold your own in the studio with me. Um, but the frustration I had in that I was yet again sending my machine away for service for the third time in 2021 just had me at wit's end. Um, so I, I uh, did a lot of research, watched a lot of YouTube, um, tried to find the best fit for my needs. And I decided that to give this one a try uh, it's amazing that you can buy it on Amazon, which just blew my mind. Um, but I did. And even though there were some issues with the box, as you saw when we opened it up, everything seems to be running just fine. Uh, obviously I'm going to be taking her on, pushing her buttons over the next couple of days and weeks and seeing what she can do. And, um, hopefully she's going to be a integral part of my studio coming forward and I'm excited to see what she can do. Um, I hope you enjoyed this unbox with me video. I know when I was shopping, I was just like, what all comes with it? I couldn't figure out, um, you know, I could, I found tutorials about what it could do, but you know, you just never know, especially buying on Amazon. You, you, you don't know what you're going to get. Um, and even with the free returns, you just have a little anxiety on, on what you're doing. And so I, I hope this provides somebody some help. Um, come back, send me a, a, a question, put a comment down below. If you have any questions, I always read the comments. I reply, um, ask me a specific question. Obviously I've had her for 10 minutes. I don't know much, but maybe when you do watch this video, I'll have had her for a while and be able to give you a little bit more insight as to what she can do and if she would work for what you need. Um, again, my name is Carrie with Tiger Lily Designs and I really appreciate you coming. And uh, let me know if there's any other videos you wanna do. You know, you can see there's my pink Atlas. That is my 19, 1950 vintage machine. She is a workhorse. Um, but my, I've got the Bernina. I've got a, a couple of my Vikings, my long arm, uh, a serger. I've tried some machines. Um, and I know the pros and cons with most of them. So reach out with any questions. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.